I bought a camera, but now my board game stack is like 17 times more precarious. Okay, internets, today is the day. Today is our first attempt at trying something new. I'm John, and today we are going to try Magic the Gathering. But John, what is magic, you say? God, why don't you know that, the scary internet trolls reply. Hey now, th this is me talking again. This is an inclusive, helpful community, and if you want to skip this part of the video because you already know everything about everything, then feel free. But if you know nothing about this, let me tell you about it. Remember when everyone was all about Pokemon cards? Everyone had to have all these different Pokemon cards, and you bought little booster packs, and theoretically there was a game you could play with them, but half of us didn't even play the game anyway? Well, all of that comes from Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering was the world's first collectible card game. A collectible card game is a game played with a deck of cards that is constantly being molded and changed as you add and remove new cards. You start with some sort of base deck, and then you get new expansions or booster packs or whatever the case may be, depending on the game, that you add to your deck to make it stronger. Now, of course, in Magic, there's a lot of different formats and things that are used, but we'll get to that. Magic the Gathering was designed by Richard Garfield and first released in 1993, 20 years ago, and they're still releasing new cards and gaining popularity even now, especially with an older crowd of gamers. It basically created game company Wizards of the Coast, which is now a giant amongst game companies. Magic has gotten big. In fact, there are so many things happening in the community right now that when you approach it to try to play, it's like, oh, what? I don't know. I'm scared. So let's break it down. Basically, there are two games happening here. There's the smaller individual matches, the actual magic card game, and then you add the collectible in and you have the larger metagame with deck building and tournaments and whatnot. Today, we're just going to talk about how to play the magic card game. Basically, in Magic the Gathering, you're a planeswalker, a wizard of sorts who wanders around getting into duels for various reasons. In these duels, you play cards called lands, giving you access to the various colors of mana. There are five colors of mana in the game, each has its own sort of flavor and approach to the gameplay. You use this mana to cast spells and eventually try to subtract all of your opponent's life points. Of course, practically that means very little, and I don't actually know how to play. I got all of that off of Wikipedia, so I set out to find some cards of my own and find someone to teach me how to play. Where else would I go but my local game store? So I am here at Crimson Castle Games, which is my local game store. Go support your local game stores. They're a great resource to help you get involved in any sort of game things you could want. But I'm going to go inside and we're going to learn to play some stuff. Unfortunately, once I got inside, it didn't go very well. I was informed that Magic releases a new core set every year, and as part of this core set, they release intro decks, which are the perfect way to get your hand on some cards to play. Unfortunately, this core set is being released July 19th, so there aren't a lot of intro decks out there for sale anymore, so I couldn't get my hands on one. This was bad news for me of being able to vlog my first attempt to play Magic with cards this week, but it's good news for us because that means if you want to try it, the jumping on point is coming up right around the corner. So then I went back to Magic's website and it told me that one of the best ways for new players to learn the game is to use an app they release every year. But I definitely want to get my hand on some actual cards and play a game with another human being. So to do this, I'm going to have to do a little bit of schedule rearranging, which I can do because it's my vlog, deal with it. Instead of my next four vlogs being general interest topic, trying stuff, general interest topic, trying stuff, it's going to be general interest, general interest, trying stuff, trying stuff. This will allow me to make my next magic vlog after the course that has been released and get some cards of my own. Those two trying stuff videos are going to close up my series on magic. First, I'm going to play magic in person, and then I'm going to jump in and try to play in a tournament on Friday Night Magic. So I hope to see you then. If you have any questions about magic, I'm happy to look up the answers for you or ask one of my friends at Crimson Castle. So please leave them in the comments below. Also, like, share this video if you enjoyed learning about magic and want someone else to learn about it with you. And subscribe, please. My friends were playing Super Smash Brothers the whole time, and I was really jealous, and I really want to go join them, so that's all. Bye!